my god i'm so cold i just got out of the shower and my hair got wet like the back of it <gasps> it's gonna end up greasy it's gonna end up greasy Did you see how much hair came out in my hair hair band? I was about to say headband. That's not a fucking headband. It's going to get greasy because the amount I need to put my lotion on. I'm too cold. I literally jumped out of the fucking shower and dried myself off really quick and put my hoodie on and shut the AC off because I don't know what else to do. And no, that's not me complaining because don't look at the amount of hair in my hairbrush. That's not me complaining because honestly, I will take this over burning up. Because when I fucking tell you that I hate summer, I do mean it. Look, I was cold. And what did I do? I put on a hoodie. I shut off my AC and I put on a hoodie. When I am hot, what can I do? Only so much. Only so much. Sit in a fucking ice bath. A little melt. Only so much. Oh my god, guys, my hair is long enough that I can do that. My name's Jaden. I play volleyball. Um, anyways, it's kind of disgusting, though, because the back of my neck is wet from my hair. And I literally just said, fuck it, and put my hoodie on, and now my hoodie's wet. I had to warm up. I just need to sit here. I need to put on my lotion. I need to fucking do my skincare. Epps is at the gym. Um, as soon as he gets home, we're going to go outside and paint a Jason mask. To get <gasps> a pair of my glasses that isn't broke, but definitely has an old prescription, but at least they're not broke. Anyways, when he gets home from the gym, we're going to go in the backyard and paint this Jason mask that we were intending to paint yesterday, but both of us just... That forehead, wow. I like how I was freezing and then I just move a little bit and suddenly I'm burning up again. I love this so much. It's coconut, it's shea butter and coconut oil. And it smells like coconut cream and rich caramel or caramel, however you wanna say it. Doesn't it look like um, suntan lotion? It's not, but it smells like it. When I bought it, like I saw it and I was like, oh my God, that's so chuggy. Like the packaging of it is so fucking chuggy. And the other ones that they have like this are as well. Like they're super, super chuggy looking. And if there's one thing about me is I love chuggy shit. I had to have it. And I literally like combed it over and over and over again. It is literally just, it's just fragrant. It, it, sorry, I was reading something. It's just lotion. It says fragrance notes. Coconut cream, blooming jasmine, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. It smells. It smells like summer and like fuck summer, but I love warm scents. You know how you have you have you ever seen that meme that's like, were you a vanilla sugar bitch or a cucumber melon bitch? I was a vanilla sugar bitch and I still am. I love putting smelly things on top of other smelly things that smell similar. Like my body wash is shea oil and, and cocoa butter, I think as well. I love piling smelly shit on top of other smelly shit. I just won't wear a perfume today. Actually, I probably will. I'm probably going to wear this Jessica Simpson one that I got at the uh, Big Lots. I actually found it after Christmas. Um, and the lady, like, apparently it was supposed to be in, like, a three-pack or something like that. And somebody had stolen the other two. Um, and the lady just put a $1 label on it and sold it to me for a dollar. And I love it. It smells so fucking good. I'm going to use this on my legs. The last time that I bought this, I only got, like, this much of it gone. And then I found the rest of it in my bathtub, leaking everywhere. Um, it's generic for Vaseline Cocoa Radiant body gel oil and like the idiot's bittiest amount of it goes so far if you use too much of it it will smell not very good like it literally smells like vaseline but if you just use like a pea size amount it smells like a vanilla cupcake oh my gosh i've been sitting here trying to get all of that off of my hands without having to get back up again because i had to get back up and get it from across the room and literally started fighting for my life and i'm kind of hoping that this hand sanitizer <laughs> I'm taking it right to the head. I'm hoping it'll be the last step 
in that journey. Um, anyways, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. Let's start with Friday. Using my generic rock all over my face. The other one that I like, the real rock, I can only use it on like certain areas of my face because it burns. This does not. So I'm just like, oh, I'll just slather it everywhere. I, I saved half the cost by buying the generic, but I'm going to go through it four times fast, as fast. The, the rock literally lasted me like nine months, but I don't know time, but it was a really long time. Anyways, because I didn't have to use very much of it. Um, anyways, Friday night, I was going to film a makeup video, and then I got an email saying that I was getting my sunset makeup package um, Saturday, so I decided to hold off and just film the makeup video then, because then I could wear, you know, the makeup all day. And, um, not just do it and then have to wash it off and then go to bed, you know, like not waste the makeup. Um, but then I'm laying there in bed. So what do I decide to do? What do I decide to do? I got crazy bread from Little Caesars and decided I wanted to watch Midsummer. So I'm laying in bed, all sprawled out, shoveling in my Little Caesars bread, watching Midsummer, and I get a text message. I get a text message. God, there is still... I mean, I've only washed my hair like twice, I think, since I did the glitter spray, but still it's all, like all over my scalp. I might have to wash my hair tomorrow, depending on how greasy it ends up from, I just, I don't know what it is. Like sometimes whenever I take a shower, my hair doesn't get wet at all. And then there's days like today where I took a shower and it was like everything was bouncing off my fucking body and hitting my hair and my hair cannot get damp or it gets oily. Anyway, so I'm laying in bed and I get a phone, or not a phone call, a text message. And it's like close to 9 p.m. And it's from a family member. And they're like, hey, birthday party tomorrow at 1. Why such late notice, you know? Why, why, I didn't even say anything. But they're like, oh, we weren't really sure if we were going to do it. But now, now we know that we are. So just, just be here at one if you, if you want to, if you can. And I just didn't say anything because guys, I need like 48 hours for mental preparation. I need like 48 hours for mental preparation. 1 p.m. for me on a Saturday is like, I need, when I wake up on the weekends, I need at least four hours to sit there like a fucking fat, naked mole rat and like collect myself. I need the morning to do nothing. And then, you know, my ass would sit down and be like, get ready with me for a birthday party. So that takes me doing my makeup from a half hour to, you know, an hour or two. And I know that I have this makeup coming in the mail. I'm really excited about it. So I just opted to just not go. Is that mean? Probably. I, don't, I, I have to have time to socially, emotionally, spiritually, you know, prepare myself to socialize, even if it's with my own family. Even if it's with my own family. I, I cannot, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. And then I'm like, but I already have plans. <laughs> What are the plans? Playing with new makeup. Oh, and that was the other thing. That was the other thing. No, that was the nail in the coffin. I had a package coming in the mail yesterday. I had to get up early yesterday anyways. Regardless, I had to get up early uh, yesterday anyways because I had a package that was scheduled to arrive between 9 and 11 a.m. and I had to sign for it. And so what did I do Friday night? I took NyQuil. Now, how much NyQuil is too much NyQuil? I think I can answer that question by saying a mouthful of NyQuil is too much NyQuil because I was so fucking lethargic yesterday. It was not even funny. I literally felt like I had to slap myself in the face to get myself to fucking wake up. To get my, because I would like, I would literally be fine. And then I'd suddenly be like tired again. It was awful. How much NyQuil is too much NyQuil? We found out. I found out. But anyways, I'm sitting there thinking, what if my package is late? And what if I go upstairs and I'm getting ready and I don't hear, you know, a knock at the door and then X won't be able to go to the gym because he'll have to be downstairs. Where he, just, you know, uh, the filing cabinet of fucking excuses. Anyways, that was my Friday night. Very unexciting. I want to put on a little bit of makeup, but I don't know if I want 
to put, I don't know if I'm going to take it so far as to put any of this on, especially because I'm probably going to have to buy some more. Look, I chipped my fucking nail polish. I'm going to fix it. Maybe. Um, it's actually falling off. It's at the, it's at the point where it's like half on half off. And it's doing the thing where it's like hooking on my hair and shit and making me want to vomit. So, but I don't want to rip it off because my nail is really long underneath of it and I'm trying to keep it even though it's probably gonna, you know, fall off with it. Um, anyways, I, I'm gonna have to rebuy this soon. So I think I'm just, I don't think I'm gonna use any primer. Does it really matter? I mean, we're not going anywhere. We are gonna go outside and like vlog ourselves painting a mask, but... I don't think I'm going to bother with it. Also, I feel like later tonight, whenever I go to take off my makeup, I feel like I don't want it to fight me. I feel like I don't want it to fight me too hard. But anyways, uh, I guess that wasn't the end of my Friday because I did end up having another nightmare about my old job. Um, <laughs> it was uh, the pizza dough maker cap breaking. Like, it, when, when I was working at my family's restaurant, the dough, like, mixer thing would constantly flip the breaker, and I had no fucking idea how to fix it, so I would have to call my grandpa, and he would have to come up and do it. Well, in my dream, I was, like, I kept, the, the breaker kept flipping, like, they made me make the, the pizza dough, which I hated doing, and the fucking thing kept breaking and I was like you know what whatever I'm gonna figure it out on my own and that was a whole nightmare was me trying to figure out how the fuck to how to flip a breaker why does this keep happening and when I tell you that it probably doesn't sound like a nightmare to you it was a nightmare it was fucking awful and then last night I had a dream see I would love to say that that was a NyQuil induced dream I would love to sit here and tell you that that was a NyQuil induced dream but I don't believe that it was I just think over the last week, I've been having really fucking weird dreams, and I don't know why. I sincerely do not know why. I don't know. I don't know. I usually don't remember my dreams, but over the last... Whatever. And I haven't, like, changed medications. Nothing's going on. I literally don't know why. My dreams have been wild, but I had a dream last night that, like, my cousin tried to kill me. <laughs> he gave me, like, some kind of poison or something that's... Uh, was if I fell asleep, I was going to die. And the thing is like, I have not been around this uh, this cousin since I was a kid, but maybe like a handful of times. So what the fuck is that? It's really wild because the last time that I went out to see my family, he was there and I said hi to him and I don't think he even like recognized me. So I was like, hey, it's Shane. He's like, I know who you are. Why would you think I don't know who you are? Because I'm never fucking around you. That's why, what do you mean? And then I just laughed about it. I don't expect anybody to know who I am, you know? Um, I don't know. <laughs> like literally my whole dream was like trying not to fall asleep because he poisoned me and I was going to die. Yay. Um, I just put on concealer and I'm only saying something really quickly because there's a fly in this room and I have to go do something about it. I'm about to go shoo it out the door or something. It's driving me crazy. You know that scene in Beetlejuice where she's like, I will go crazy and I will take you with me. I will go crazy and I will take you with me. That's how we feel. I can't take it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I literally just stood at my door and was like, please go out. Anyway, nothing is like grosser and creepier to me than the sound of flies. Like not like literally when I'm playing Stardew, I usually like mute everything and play the game silently because you know how like randomly there's like the sound of flies. Ooh, now that that bullshit's over, that bitch was so big. That fly was so fucking big. Anyways, sorry. Uh, I did my eyebrows and stuff off camera while watching my vlog back, watching back what I filmed. I gotta tell you guys, I'm gonna be using this neon palette. I wish I would had used this, this Profusion neon palette. I wish I would had used this yesterday with the, cause I know that's an orange. That's orange. I know that's orange. I think this maybe might be orange and I think this is like an orangish red, but I know this bitch is orange. I have blue eyeshadow stuck in my head and I don't know why. I want blue eyeshadow today and I don't know why. And blue is like my like least favorite color of eyeshadow, but I want blue eyeshadow today. But anyways, um, 
my package did end up arriving late like it was supposed to be here between like like 9 and 11 and it ended up not showing up until 1 30. so that made me feel a little less guilty but bitch when i tell you i have a filing cabinet of excuses to not socialize I do sincerely mean it. I think the reason that I've been obsessed with um, blue eyeshadow for the last like 12 hours is because I was watching the Bro Show podcast and they were talking about, I was watching an old episode of the Bro Show podcast and they were talking about Mia Goth. And for some reason, I just associate blue eyeshadow with Mia Goth and have had it stuck in my head. Why didn't I? didn't use this yesterday why did i not use this yesterday and also i had a moment when i was looking around aimlessly where i remembered sorry i almost choked on my spit but i caught myself i remember that i have this frosted coconut snowball from bath and body works but what's really fun i actually vlogged this i found these there there was multiple but i bought two i think there was like three or four I found these at the dollar, or not the dollar, uh, Goodwill for $1.99 or something like that. What a steal! I feel like a little crow. A little crow just, just collecting pretty stuff. I feel like a little rat. A little rat just, just building the nest. Guys, I love profusion. I love profusion. I know a lot of people, like, don't like them for whatever reason. I love them. I know that they're that they have like some missed products, but that's like every brand. That's like every brand ever. I love them so much. I love as I stare at my my blue eyes, my violently fucking blue eyeshadow. Anyways, I'm gonna do my eyeliner off camera because this is get. I'm running my mouth so badly. This is getting way too long. I'm using Elf. I got a little carried away with doing my makeup off camera also i'm trying to tame my wig i just did my eyeliner and put on some uh eyelashes and some powder i know i was like i'm not gonna put on a lot of makeup listen i didn't put on primer i didn't bake my face i didn't contour or use blush i still don't know what i'm gonna put on my lips though i kind of just want to use this but i don't know I don't know if this color with the blue eyeshadow is going to annoy me. I feel like it might annoy me. Does that make sense? If it does, it's meant for you. If it doesn't apply, let it flaw. Oh my god, putting this on reminds me. Yesterday, after I had finished my video, I ate macaroni and cheese for dinner. Because we all know that I hate myself. Um, I'm lactose intolerant like most of the planet. Um, I hate myself, so I had macaroni and cheese for um, dinner. And the lipstick that I tried, which I put the lip gloss on top of, it started running down the corners of my mouth, right? And I filmed that update for the end of the video. What I didn't film, because I was in low lighting and didn't see it, it had somehow traveled up my nose and there was some of it on my cheek as well. It had somehow traveled like up my lip. There was some right here and some right at the cusp of my nose and some on my cheek. How the fuck does that happen? And like, I didn't do anything else. I, I did nothing. I did nothing else. I did nothing else. I literally was sitting there. I ate nothing else. I drank nothing else. I was just sitting there and don't know what I looked at my face and don't know if it was my camera or what. And I had that fucking lipstick slash lip gloss all over here and up on my cheek. How? I love when my hair bends my eyelash. I'm not refilming everything because I looked awkward. Anyways, I think this may have to be its own video. And I may just have a video of me and Epps doing our first spoopy thing together this year as a separate video. Because I've been running my mouth for way too long and I didn't even talk about all the things that I wanted to talk about. I can tell that I'm feeling better because I feel like going on a walk. I feel like going on a walk. Does anybody spray body spray on their clothes? Like you put your shirt on or your hoodie on or your jacket on and you spray body spray on it. And because I'm making a short right now and I'm like, if I like in the next frame am wearing a hoodie and then show the body spray that I'm going to use, somebody's going to be thinking like, 
aren't you supposed to put that on your body? I have enough scented things on my body. I want my hoodie smelling coconut. Oh shit, I've got clothes I need to throw in the dryer. I just washed Dee's Jack Stauber shirt and one of his Don't Hug Me I'm Scared shirts and one of his bear star whatever i think it's called bear something something from roblox that one we played it together one day i sat down and played bear on roblox with him oh bitch so we get into the lobby thing my hair is gone because my character's hair is black it was gone my character's entire outfit was gone because it was black so it was back to like the ugly ass default alf outfit and i was like what the hell happened and D said it's because black stuff in the game, like black clothes and black hair and stuff like that is considered to be cheating because it makes it easier for you to hide and that people will like use whatever like mods and stuff to cheat the game because they just want to get the skins and like collect the rewards and shit. There were so many people in that game like who had like all black everything on or they were spiders or they were they, they made their characters itty bitty tiny so that they could hide i will never fucking forget i was the bear i was the bear i was the one running around and, and getting people you know and there was somebody like cheating as an itty bitty tiny spider and they're running around and they've got the cheese and they're like come get me come get me and they're running around with the cheese and there's my fucking 35 year old ass chasing them and they and like of course i couldn't catch them because they were tiny and the timer runs out and they're like i win i win and it took every fucking thing in me to not get in that fucking chat and be like but you cheated but you cheated dear 12 year old you fucking cheated the amounts of emotional intelligence that i displayed at that moment was unbelievable anyways anyways i'm gonna put my coconut snowball on top of my outfit i want i'm always like why do i always have a headache well you're dehydrated and you have migraines and you spray smelly stuff on you and you sleep like shit and you barely eat why do i always have a headache why is my liver always acting up? Well, because you eat ibuprofen and Tylenol like candy, probably. Um, anyways, I'm going to end this vlog because Epson and I are going to go outside. I want to see if he'll go on a walk with me. I can tell that I'm feeling better because I want to go on a walk. And we want to make the my mask because he has all different kinds of masks. Um, I want mine to be black and sparkly. And then I want to decorate it eventually with like cute little stickers. But we're going to have to wait for it to dry. So I want to see if you can go well, like on a whack with me while we're waiting. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.